lived with us since they were very small. They were living just like Angada right there is. They've lived with us since they were tiny. With those different wildlife, incredible opportunities to uh, meet them up close. Okay, he's banging his foot. It's a good sign. You like that? Nope. <laughs> Bought some cheese. Oh yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Of course I'm here with the cutest boy in the whole world, Mr. Alamada. <laughs> and we're gonna do a scare cooterie. I think that's what it's called, I don't know, or I just made it up, I have no idea. If you guys are actually new to this channel and you're wondering why I have a baby chimpanzee, well, you should check out MyrtleBeachSafari.com. It'll also tell you how you can meet the cutest boy in the whole wide world. Or if you're interested in how we're actually saving chimpanzees in the wild, go to RareSpeciesFund.org. So first things first, we probably should wash your hands and his feet because his feet are in everything. This is something we do uh, two or three times a day at least. You ready? Oh, you need to drink some? Yeah, get a big drink first, the boy. <laughs> I don't actually know how much he's drinking or if it's just fun. A lot of the times he takes it and actually swishes it around, which I think is hilarious. I haven't swished water for a while. You ready? I'm gonna put it on your hand. Yeah. You wanna do feet first? All right, buddy. Look at all this soap on your feet. I'm gonna, you gotta help me out. You gotta help me out, you're such a good boy. Jack's here, and we're gonna wash your hands so we can make some cold foods, okay? Yeah. So, we got the water just kind of tepid. He doesn't like it if it's too warm. <laughs> of course, he is a two-year-old, so, as you can see, he acts a bit like a two-year-old. <laughs> he gets extra excited when there's guests over. Huh, you good boy. All right, that looks pretty clean. You smell good. That was rosemary, ooh. Have a seat. Let me wash your hands, let me dry them. Can I have that other foot? Good job. All right, let's go on the back. All right, now we're all clean and ready. So, I already made the scary apple because I absolutely adored it from my last video. And this is one of my favorite things to make of all time. This is quail egg zombie eyes. I already went ahead and actually boiled it. The quail eggs are interesting because when you boil them, you actually want the water to already be boiling before you throw them in, and then you're gonna throw them in for somewhere around four minutes. And then I immediately threw it into ice cold water to cool it off. I did put a little bit of baking soda in the water. That way it's supposed to help you peel this better because these are actually a little bit hard to peel. So I have this tiny little quail egg. There's a couple of options. I've done both. You could cut it in half, or sometimes I just cut the very top off. You could also make it into like a deviled egg. I'm not doing deviled eggs today though. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna cut just the top off and actually dig a little bit out. Here we go. And then I'm gonna fill it with this. This is what makes it a scary zombie eye. Ew, look how creepy that is. I wonder if it'll fit in here. All right. <laughs> Yucky. <laughs> so we're gonna make a whole bunch of zombie eyes. All right, so I wasn't actually sure if these would lay perfectly. So I'm gonna put the eyes there and then I'm gonna try to maybe just surround it with other things. I left just one eye there. <laughs> it made it scary. And now we actually have twice baked potatoes. I haven't made twice baked potatoes for a very long time, but this is actually a really cool idea. For twice baked potatoes, I actually do not use sour cream. I don't think for anything, probably for 20 years actually. I just use yogurt and now they have Greek yogurt, which is super sour creamy. I don't think you actually need it. So I already baked the potato and pulled all the insides out. I have done it both ways, but we're gonna carve it like a pumpkin. We're gonna go in and make little eyes. Now, this is the one thing that I actually love about Halloween more than anything, is that you don't have to be perfect at any of it, right? Because it's supposed to be scary. It's supposed to be ugly. There's a little eye. So we're gonna actually, 
do the twice baked potato inside these funny little jack-o-lanterns. Oh, delicious. Okay, I haven't actually tried this yet, but I think this is actually a brilliant idea. I'm super excited about it. All right, once again, like I said, it can be ugly, right? That's what it's for. So you're gonna carve all of these little guys out. Ooh, I made a bunch of them already. And then you gotta blend all the insides. So what I think I should do is dye it. This is actually really cool. I just found this once again. Nobody's paying me, but this is a super color powder. It's made literally with only beets. That's the only ingredient. That's absolutely amazing. If it's something you guys are worried about, I don't know what is normally in food coloring, but I was super excited about this. They make black carrot, like all kinds of crazy cool stuff. So I'm gonna blend that in there. And then I think that'll make the jack-o'-lanterns even creepier. Do you like creepy? I like creepy. I love Halloween. Do you love Halloween? Where's your fist bump? Oh, it's on this side? Yeah. So I did actually have a couple of people say that they love that I'm talking to Jack because they forget that there has to be someone behind the camera, right? <laughs> um, I was doing this before just like with my cell phone, but I like that Jack is here because then I can communicate with him. He can give me better ideas. And um, I think the video overall is like a million times better. You guys can go back and look at my last Halloween video and judge, tell me. Jack made it better, I know he did. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> So it calls for salt, but honestly, I don't salt anything because I'm not big on salt. So I figure if you're eating my food, you can salt it to whatever degree you like. People have had to just figure that out. I'm not gonna salt the food. <laughs> a half a cup of cheddar cheese. I'm gonna just guess on this one. That's probably half a cup. You don't wanna forget the yogurt, AKA sour cream. It's about half a cup. I don't actually think like you have to be perfect with every recipe, even if it's not Halloween. I think if you get close, it works. That's my opinion, but I'm not picky about food. I actually spent like the last four years eating nothing but cabbage soup. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not very picky. All right, so we're gonna take this, blend it all up. Can you help? Can you help it? Feel it, it vibrates. Yeah. All right, so I'm not actually sure how much of this we're supposed to use. It smells like beets. I mean, it should. That's what it's made out of. All right, that's working, that's working. Chimpanzees absolutely love anything that makes noise. Their like ultimate goal in life is to make as much noise as possible. So he loves it when things are making noise. So I don't actually have like one of those decorate -y things, but a Ziploc bag will always work. Pour that in there. All right. Did you taste it? Is it good? Mm. Yep, it's pretty good. So all you have to do is you just take a plastic bag and then you cut a little hole in it and that'll work perfectly and you just Squeeze it into your scary pumpkin. <laughs> Did he get his hand in there? Is it on me? <laughs> no, you didn't get very much. Okay, I think that's working. And of course, making a mess is also Halloween, right? The messier and uglier it is, the better. And I almost forgot, Jack reminded me, a charcuterie board needs meat. But I'm a vegetarian. I haven't actually eaten meat. meat in 20 years, I think this product is actually pretty meaty and delicious. Once again, not selling anything. If you were told by your doctor to get off of meat, I think this actually will work really well. It may not be super meaty like you're used to, but I think if you're just putting it in a sandwich, I don't think you would even notice at all. We can have Jack try it. Have you ever tried fake meat, Jack? Maybe once or twice. Yeah? But I also eat real, real meat, so I can tell the difference, I feel like. All right, you're gonna be the one then. So this is just like an oven roasted turkey. Here you go, Jack. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, okay. It, it tastes similar. His very... eyes just lit up, his eyebrows went up. <laughs> it does taste very similar. It doesn't taste 100% like turkey, but it's like 80% there. I think they're doing a pretty good job. They're doing a really good and job. 
honestly, none of this stuff is made for vegetarians. It's actually made for people whose doctor has taken them off of meat. I think that's why it's so meaty. Scare cooterie. <laughs> I think this is working. I guess you could put the meat anywhere you want. Just make sure that your guests can still get a hold of it, right? Do you want some? You wanna try it? Oh, he's being quiet and he must like it. It is a little salty. He definitely likes savory stuff, usually more than he likes sweet stuff. So I brought these crackers, Mary's Gone Crackers. This is, I eat Mary's Gone Crackers literally every single day. Angada actually likes them a lot. Uh, but I went with the seaweed one because it's black. Ooh, scary. Let's see, should we go inside the rib cage with that? We brought some cheese, of course. How can we live without cheese? Oh, yep, we're just gonna make a mess, it's fine. Angada's back there eating it. He does like it. I think dried fruit is generally like a thing for charcuterie boards. And honestly, it's very yucky looking. I like dried fruit, but I will admit it is gross looking. Uh, I have to keep coming around and looking at it from the side to see what it looks like. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. Um, I think I'm gonna, I think we did a pretty good job. Angara, wanna see if you like any of this stuff? Let's look at it. What do we got? Anything look good? Yeah, the potato is pretty good. Taste it! <laughs> look, Anga. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's pretty good, huh? What about this? I think you'll actually like that. Okay. You wanna try the whole egg? Angara's never had egg before. You wanna try the whole egg? Okay, okay, okay. He's banging his foot. It's a good sign. You like the egg? Nope. <laughs> he liked it for a second. What about this? Oh, you're going for the potato. That works too. Oh, he wanted to blend it. Yeah. Potato and the egg are really good together. What, you wanna add a little sweet? No? What some cheese? Oh yeah. <laughs> like I said, he just takes a bite of stuff and more of it ends up on the floor than actually in his stomach. Here we go, here we go. What are you gonna go for, more cheese? <laughs> Good boy. The thing about them is of course, he's only going to learn about foods that I eat, right? So because I don't eat sweets, he doesn't like sweets that much. I love cheese. He loves cheese. <laughs> of course, his main diet is apple, carrot, banana. He hasn't tried sweet potato yet, and he eats a little protein biscuits that this made specifically for them. So that's his main diet. But of course, I let him try little bits of everything just because it's fun, it's enriching, it's good for him to meet and learn about new foods. Hi, sweet man. I hope you guys enjoyed the scare cooterie as much as we enjoyed making it, but we need to go play with Argos, don't you think? Let's go play with Argos. You ready? If you guys are new to this channel, this is Argos. He is a freelance bulldog. And he's actually Angada's dog. I got him for Angada, because every little boy needs a dog, huh? <laughs> Good boy, Argos. There, you want the hood on? You look very handsome. I went to Target the other day to get yogurt for Angada. Of course, I came out with a costume for Argos. That's what happens at Target. <laughs> Good boys! You love your doggo! <laughs> Get him, Argos! Get him! Oh, my. Get him, Argos! Get him! You're gonna help! Ah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Subscribe, like, comment, and then that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you think that's fun? I got you. I got you. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, of course I have the cutest boy in the whole wide world. 
I just noticed that we have a ton of new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the, your support. Of course, I was very, very nervous starting my own channel, but I figured you guys would wanna see the cutest boy in the whole wide world growing up. So if you guys are new and you don't know why I have a baby chimpanzee, well, head on over to MyrtleBeachSafari.com. That'll also show you how you can meet him. And of course, if you wanna know how we're saving them in the wild, go to rareSpeciesFund.org. So I know I mentioned in one of my videos before that I'm not like super into sweets, but I found a whole bunch of really cute, sweet dessert kind of things. I do actually make these every year, not for me, but for the staff. I already started that. I'm gonna actually put the finishing touches on this and then we're gonna make kind of a fruit and sweet platter. Okay, can you go on my back, little handsome fella? There you go. So, if you guys are looking for the recipe for this, Angada and I actually made them last year. Jack can put the link on it, yeah, down there at the bottom. Okay, so once these are cooked, you're actually gonna pull the fingernails, ooh, or the almond, out of there. And you're gonna put some, you can use jelly or food dye gel or whatever it is that works for you. And you put it in there, you can even like add a little more creepy to it. Oh, that's super creepy. <laughs> Are you helping? Are you the cutest and bestest boy in the whole wide world? I think you are. You wanna eat something, Mr. Angada? What is that? Do you know how to open one of those? Do you want me to help you? Where did it go? Okay, here, do you want me to help you? I could start it for you if you put little teeth marks in it. He's not entirely sure yet that things are supposed to be peeled, so he's gonna have to slowly figure that out, huh? We peel things and then we eat them. That's where all the good stuff is, is inside. See, so you wanna try one? Yeah. So this, even though we opened it up, I think it'll still work, is now a pumpkin. <laughs> These are rat tails. We got some more witch fingers. And I'm gonna make funny little eyeballs with that tree. I found some candy eyeballs at the store. So it's just to kind of... Oh my God, it's eating the orange. <laughs> He's totally distracted back there eating that orange. He's had orange before. Sometimes he likes it, sometimes he doesn't. Um, very odd, he actually loves grapefruit. I find a lot of the time the chimps actually like stuff that, I don't know how to explain it, intense. They like intense flavors sometimes. What do you think, Hongara? Are you helping? He does love watermelon, so maybe he'll have some of this. Here. You want a watermelon eye? Ooh. <gasps> Did you hear that noise? <laughs> That's a happy noise. <laughs> that means he likes it. You wanna hold on to it for me? You hold on to it, and I'll keep working, okay? You got it? All right, kind of? No? Need a smaller piece? Okay, there you go, you eat that. And I'll keep carving this. I don't think that I'm like really good at carving pumpkins, but that's okay. Like I said before, it's Halloween, so it doesn't have to be perfect, and it doesn't have to be cute. It's supposed to be scary. <laughs> so, you could take this and actually empty it all the way out, which probably would be the best thing to do, and then have everyone eat the watermelon. Or we can just leave it like that, and then all these funny little things are gonna spill out. <laughs> That's so creepy. I absolutely love beets. I will even eat them raw. I actually think that they're delicious. I think they're probably very, very good for you. I didn't do any research on it, but I'm sure they are. Once you have it all carved up or whatever, then of course you could just add whatever little things you want to in there. Anga, anga. And then we're gonna make Rice Krispie treats. I'll tell you something right now, I've never made Rice Krispie treats. So this will be a brand new adventure for both me and Angada. I'm not really into sweets. I'll have them sometimes, but generally I try to avoid them. Hey, you want a witch finger? I think that might even be what they're called. There's a really cool company out of California that's making all kinds of crazy grapes called Grapery, and they make like cotton candy flavored grapes and the witch fingers and all kinds of crazy cool stuff. So, love that company. Once again, not selling anything, not being paid for it. Just tell me what I like. You want some of those? Go ahead. 
Is that better than the grape? It's hard to get a hold of, huh? Do you really like the Rice Krispies? <laughs> okay, we have to do the butter and the marshmallows first. Of course, I don't know what I was thinking. And we're gonna microwave it. I think that normally it's made differently, but I was looking for the quickest solution. And it will probably still taste absolutely amazing. That's just my guess. And I'm going with fluff. Everything is child-proof, or moksha-proof, or ungana-proof. If I let you put your hand in that, it's gonna be in my hair. And I washed my hair last night, so... You want some more Rice Krispies? How are we gonna make Rice Krispie treats spooky? We're gonna dye it red. Like I said, new is very sticky and icky and crazy. So we're gonna microwave this for one minute. And then we're supposed to stir it and put it in for another minute. I figure this is the time we want to add the red. I don't actually have a recipe for this, so at least uh, making it scary. I'm looking at a recipe for just how to <laughs> make it normally. I don't know how much to use. Now we dropped it. We're done. So Jack just pointed out something very obvious, and that is it's pink. It's not really like red or bloody. That's why we brought this. This is gonna make it creepier. At least that's what I think. Again, if we mess it up, who cares? It'll be a learning curve, I guess. All right, see, it's a little bit creepier color. <laughs> and I have to imagine chocolate can't make it taste worse, right? One thing that I do eat pretty regularly is like 86% dark chocolate. So I do really like dark chocolate. Okay, look at it. It's kind of, it's kind of getting creepier. <laughs> All right, let's try this and see what happens. Okay, yeah, yeah. It kind of looks like something yucky. <laughs> Do you want some more of that? You need some more? Okay, just take whatever you're gonna take. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just liked the way it felt in his hands. <laughs> he was just trying to crush all of it. Okay, Jack, what do you think? Is this a... <laughs> just threw them all on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much stuff on the floor right now. It's creepier. It's kind of creepier, right? It's a muddy red now. <laughs> <laughs> now he's just way too excited about the Rice Krispies. That was his very first time trying Rice Krispies. Want some more of this that's already on the ground? Or are you just gonna throw it? We also have grapes available, if you're interested. He spit out all the rice just for a grape. He knows grapes. He does eat grapes a lot. I always keep them in the house. It's nature's candy. I'm pretty sure like everything loves grapes. I had the super creepy skull and I figured you just put the super creepy brains in there. So I'm just giving you guys an idea. Maybe uh, you can improve on it. Or let me know what I did wrong. That's pretty creepy. I think it worked. <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty creepy. Don't worry, none of this is gonna be wasted. We have a 9,000 pound elephant, right? She loves all these kinds of treats. The watermelon's gonna go directly to her, whatever Angata doesn't eat. All right, these are gonna be ghosts. Now I think you can only just kind of put them in half, otherwise they won't have a ghost form, right? All right, all right, let's fill the rest of this in and I'll show you the finished product. We're all done, we're all done with all of our scary sweet treats. Do you wanna try them on Do you wanna try them? <laughs> oh, you think that's funny? I got you, I got you. <laughs> I swear every part of a chimpanzee is ticklish. <laughs> you just touch his head. <laughs> Once they're in tickle mode, it doesn't matter where you touch them, it's ticklish. Okay, what do you want? You guys, did you guys guess what he's gonna eat first? Let's see, what are you gonna eat? What about that funny rat tail? Sniff it. Okay. He likes brains. Look at that crazy witch finger cookie. Smell that. Nope. <laughs> Today's not the day, huh? Celery? Nope. Witch finger? <laughs> Beet? Oh, okay. Nope. <laughs> 
What you want, brother? Nothing? Nothing? Bite into that watermelon? Ah. That's a pretty good watermelon. Bubbles is gonna have to eat all of this. Or Jack. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a two year old. You never know what mood he's gonna be in or how hungry he's gonna be. Um, we did make a huge mess back here. <laughs> Every time I take a step, it just crunches. So we got a lot of cleaning up to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Subscribe, comment, like, and remember, stay wild. With us since they were very small. They were little just like Angada right there is. They've lived with us since they were tiny. Those different wildlife, incredible opportunities to uh, meet them up close.